Greetings, I am here with the Honorable Priest Kailash of Food of Seven Vegan Restaurant. Prince Kailash, tell us a little bit about the Food of Seven. Well, give thanks. I must say before I start that, I've always considered you to be a very beautiful woman. Oh. Uh, keep on, keep on portraying the, the, the natural look and the natural lifestyle. It actually saves the lives of many young women outside there. Well, the Food of Seven Vegan Restaurant is a brainchild of myself and my wife, Honorable Empress Itopia. I myself been a medical school graduate. I did about two years study in Cuba. Um, Spartan Medical School University, but graduated from the American University, went to the College of Medicine. And my mom grew up with my grandmother, meaning that I was exposed to herbal medicine from the early beginnings, whereby I used to run and get this herb for if the fever is high, the pressure is high, the, the sugar is high. Mm -hmm. So I, I always um, marveled at how a simple herb could just reverse if you had a fever, you have a headache, or any of these things. So going to medical school actually just allowed me to, to validate, you know, the the efficacy of the herbs compared to what we call well, what we call today what we call conventional medicine allopathic medicine so the food of seven provides um, people who want live foods they want to live it provides them an alternative from the the common day what you would call your, your steak and your and, and your chicken and chips so if it is that you're looking for a place where you could come and, and dine um, angels food royal food food that gives you life and, and rejuvenate the entire cellular cellular structure of your physical your physical structure you could come right here and, and get everything good most people when you say um, um empress you know you have to go more natural mm -hmm. but it's what you might say well i don't have any space all around my house is concrete we cannot do it it's hard i don't have the time i mean we've been here for less than two years and it's uh you could see that it's a, a, an urban area and we just fence up and organize and put our dirt and our compost and organize it natural, organic, no chemicals whatsoever. That's just to show people that you could do it. If you have a tire, you could put some dirt inside of that tire, mm. sprinkle some seeds and there you go. Give us a little idea of what sort of herbs you have in your garden. Well, in our garden, we, we have a, approximately 108 herbs. We have the vervain, the blue and the white one. The vervain is one of the richest sources of iron. The plantain, which is, a, which is a very, very good herb also for the eyes. We have cassia lata, which helps you rejuvenate the liver. We also have basil. We have about the five varieties of the basil, which is a good community, which just calms mm -hmm. down the system. Aromatherapy, you could just breathe it. The rosemary, excellent for headaches, migraines, whatever, you understand? And fresh from the garden. Fresh from the garden. Yeah, you, you can't beat that with a cricket bat. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing that one must do is love themselves. If you love yourself, and look ahead, it's junk food. Junk is synonymous to, to rubbish. You have license to sell intoxicating liquor. That means that's poisonous liquor, it's intoxicating. So the answer to cancer is loving self, then you examine your lifestyle, you change your whole mentality, you begin to eat better. There are many herbs in the, right here in the Caribbean, right here in St. Lucia, right here in the garden, periwinkle, what they call vinca menor, mm -hmm. that contains vincristin and vinblastin, what they call tamoxifen, which is a chemotherapeutic uh, agent. So many patients with Hodgson's lymphoma, you make a compound from periwinkle, the neck might be that big and within next to no time it's, it's down. There are people who have had cancer, I mean they've had lymphomas, breast cancer, they, and when doctors give up on them, you are, you are able to rejuvenate the system because we don't only target the physical self, we target the emotional self. When people get educated, they get counseled, you say, okay sister, this cancer that you have didn't just come about five minutes ago, not when you began feeling the lump. It takes about 15 years for cancer to develop, right? So this person understands that, look, I have been living with cancer for 15 years. Mm -hmm. That means that I could do something for the next 15 or five or 10 years, whereby I could naturally eradicate that cancer right. I'm suffering with. And regenerate your body, your mind, your soul, and your spirit. Priest Kailash, true power and strength. Give thanks for the knowledge. Folks, listen. You can get in touch with Priest Kailash, book your private consultation, come sample the vegan cuisine, and start changing your path and try a different path. Healthy for life, that's what we say in San Michelle. I'm Janelle Bonterre. Thank you for joining me. If you want to find out more about health and wellness in the Caribbean, or you want to plan your own healthy getaway to St. Lucia, visit the show online at islandexclusive.com. This episode of Island Exclusive has been brought to you by Zaire for Healthy Living.
that I'm no fronting. I, the way I move, I can see it's clearly you. Hey, strong thing, wanna come over here and tell me something? Right, the way you do, it to make me. 